We've all been in this situation before. Your CDs are almost ready, dampening is high, and the enemy healer is oom. Meanwhile, you're chilling with most of your defensives ready, which means you have the win secured. But then suddenly, this is what happens. Well, that's just a little bit awkward, isn't it? But wait, before you go posting on the forums, there is something very important we can learn. Let's go back to Peekaboo. You can clearly see that he died to the hunt, which hit him for 172k. Maybe that's OP, but this isn't why Peekaboo died. And neither is the fact that he could have avoided this damage entirely with his CDs, because it wasn't even obvious that the Demon Hunter was attacking him anyway. The hunt might have killed Peekaboo, but that's not the reason he lost this game. In fact, the game was lost nearly 15 seconds before Peekaboo even died, and it was actually this moment where the real throw happened. But why? We're not doctors here, but if we had to guess, most of the arena population suffers from Details Death Syndrome, or D's for short. D's is when you instinctively open up your death log every time someone on your team dies, and then you say, okay, that must be why we lost. When in reality, there is a high chance the game was thrown way before that moment, and chances are you didn't even realize it. Details might show you the reason you died, but most of the time this is different from the reason you lost. Today, we're going to explain why. To do this, we're going to look at the three most common ways that games are thrown in WoW Arena, including some examples from tournaments, because if these guys are throwing, then you probably are too. So let's get started with the three reasons that you are actually losing in Arena, and we promise by the end that you will become a better and smarter player. The most common throw is the hardest to avoid, and it involves getting too greedy. This requires knowing about win conditions, which is something that most people hopefully understand by now. If not, a win condition is the series of events that help guarantee a win. In this game, Peekaboo's team was working towards their victory. This involved forcing trinkets from all three enemy players, and then burning through multiple defensives while landing cross CC. Once all of these things happen, the win is almost guaranteed as long as they can lock down the kill target, which is why Drake was already running across the map to prevent this from happening. But how did he know to do this? Well, it's because he understands something more important, the fact that he was about to lose. Even at lower ratings, people understand their win conditions, but rarely stop to think about their lose conditions, which is something that the best players do effortlessly. Well, sometimes. Let's go to a different game, this time with one comp you're probably too familiar with. Yes, RMP. If you absolutely hate losing to this comp, then watch carefully. Playing against RMP is like swimming with sharks. One wrong move and they will smell blood in the water. That's what will happen in this game, but in a very weird way. Let's pause here. 90 seconds into the match, and the RMP has already forced every single defensive from the DK, and basically every CD from the Evoker. Even though he doesn't have any defensives, Nodge still has death mark, which means the RMP basically has the win, which is why it's frustrating to see Nodge immediately press death mark without any CC on the Evoker, since it will get immediately cauterized. This was greedy since his team had a chance to win on the DK, or even the Evoker, if he had just been patient. But something greedier will happen later, which will cause the hunter to eventually die. But wait a second, how did this happen? Let's rewind. The last time we saw the hunter was when the RMP dropped their win by wasting death mark. So we need to see how the hunter was the one who wound up dying. Let's pause here. This is the most critical moment of the game, because it was actually the RMP who was about to lose. Flay is stunned with no PS and a freezing trap headed their way. Nodge still has no CDs and is dangerously low on HP, but Rosita Jones is about to make an insane save. He does this by sheeping the hunter on the intimidation, but then we see the hunter trinket to try and land the freezing trap. Rosita Jones was actually ready for this, since he proactively blinked on top of his healer to soak the trap. On the surface, this aggressive trinket from the hunter might have been reasonable since Naj was about to die, but it might have been too greedy, since Flay still had barrier and rapture when coming out of the CC. And this greedy trinket is what opens up the hunter as a new win condition for the RMP, who are able to chunk down 50% of his HP in a single kidney shot. Ultimately, this game would represent two teams taking turns making two distinct throws. The first was the throw of a potential win condition earlier when Naj wastes Deathmark. The second would be the hunter's greedy trinket, which would then give his team a new lose condition for the RMP to capitalize on. While RMP might be the best comp at sharking out wins from greedy players, it's important to treat every comp like you would RMP, and this includes Solo Shuffle. If you decide to use an important cooldown to kill, like Mystic does here with Bubble, then it has to be as close to 100% kill as possible. Otherwise, it means you have potentially given the enemy team a new path to victory. And while it's tempting to make these greedy plays, better players will capitalize off your aggression and will turn your greed into their win condition. 
So far, we've already gone over a lot of information, but it should be clear how important it is to understand wind conditions, and also how to tell when you are vulnerable and what to do about it. This question is something we answer in our class courses at skillcap.com, where we teach you rank one level defensive play. And while we're doing that, we also teach you some fundamental techniques for making your setups as deadly as possible with expert level crowd control. When you combine both of these things with our damage courses and hundreds of arena commentaries, it's easy to understand why our users see rapid improvement. In fact, we even offer a rating gain guarantee, where we promise that you will gain at least 400 rating while actively using our website. To learn more, check out the links below. For now, let's get back to the video. So far, we've talked about defensive flubs. Now, let's see why offensive mistakes matter just as much. To understand this, let's go back to Peekaboo and learn why this moment was where he really lost the game. Even though you can't tell from his UI, Deathmark has 6 seconds left on its CD, and both Thistletee and Shiv are almost ready. The Druid might have trinkets soon, but it doesn't matter since dampening is at 52%. The real throw was the kidney shot. If this was just delayed a few more seconds and used with Deathmark, the game could have been dramatically different. Even if the kidney didn't kill the Demon Hunter, it would have at least forced them to retreat, which could have prevented this cheesy loss from happening. One thing we really think people should start doing is treating every comp like it's RMP, which even includes the comp you are playing. Even though Seadu hates Rogue Mage more than anyone on this planet, his team still does 3-2-1 cross CC goes just like RMP, and this happens no matter what comp c do is actually playing, since win conditions are pretty similar among all comps. If you manage to force out trinkets, your goal is to avoid dropping your potential win condition, and instead, be very tactical with your next opportunity to strike, because the kill window will eventually close. So to recap, two of the biggest throws in Narina are tied to win conditions. On one hand, you have to be wary of how the enemy team can win the game, because one greedy aggressive play is enough to quickly spiral into a loss. On the other hand, keep your own win condition in mind, and capitalize off the brief moments you have to win the game. If you miss out on these small windows, you could wind up paying the price by accident, even if you do nothing else wrong. The most common throw is related to target selection, which is a question we answer all the time in our Discord server. Usually it goes something like this, Hey Skillcapped, we lost 20 games against MLD. Every time we attack the mage, we don't force any CDs. What are we doing wrong? Then we will ask, have you tried going on a different target? And overwhelmingly, the response is, no. We're not kidding, this happens multiple times per week. Target selection can make or break a matchup. If you're doing the same strategy 20 times in a row and losing every time, the only mistake you might be making is simply choosing the wrong target, which is exactly what happened in this tournament level game here. See this mushroom. This is proccing a talent verdancy, which is allowing the druid to chill in the background and do insane HPS. This single mushroom is going to stay on the ground for virtually the entire game, and will allow the druid to comfortably heal his entire team. There might be some scary moments here and there, but the druid is left free to do whatever they want and heal without any issue. And after Bank dies 5.5 minutes into the game, the bots need to do some reprogramming. And this is exactly what happens in the second game, because instead of letting both melee stand in the mushroom, the bots go straight for the druid. This means that there is now more cleave pressure to deal with, and less time to keep their mushroom down. Even though the previous game lasted nearly 6 minutes and ended in a loss, the bots managed to clean this one up in just under two, and all it took was hitting a different target. Whether it's flubbing wind conditions or hitting the wrong targets, it can be difficult to understand why you lose. And again, you can't just look at your death log to figure everything out. And if you really want to learn how to navigate your wind conditions and avoid losses, then head over to skillcap.com. Our class courses and arena commentaries are designed for fast improvement, which is why we guarantee that you will gain at least 400 rating while actively using our guides. Get started today by visiting the links below. But for now, that wraps it up for this one. Let us know what topics you would like us to cover next in the comments below. We recently saw someone asking for map guides, and we think this is a great idea, so let us know if you agree. As always, though, we want to thank you all for watching. See you soon.